guys. So I have been doing a lot of thinking since that video you saw where we were out fishing. We're going to try fishing on Cerebus Shoal. We were catching fish, sea robins. Ew. He's making a noise. Oh, can you take that out of him? Oh. And they had this incredible personality because they were actually making noises. And I don't think of any fish about this big making noise. Okay. Oh, come here, little one. Come here. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You got the string and there's a hook at the other end of the string. Okay, now you're good. Go Bye, little one. Bye, little one. Bye, little one. So, as you recall, I got pretty upset about keeping any fish and eating them. Which kind of led me to where I am today. I'm not eating red meat and I'm super conflicted about it because I love red meat and my husband is a grill master. <coughs> but I'm having a problem consuming large animals. So I didn't know if anyone else out there had uh, an issue with this because I'm not sure where this is going to go, but I have to say, I haven't eaten red meat for, well, since, since that event, the fish event. And so that would be, I don't know, maybe six weeks now. I feel like I need to be more cognizant of my protein intake because I do spend time exercising, mountain biking. I'm getting my protein generally through cheese and milk and eggs and chickpeas and and I am consuming fish, oddly, if I don't have to kill it, and chickens, again, oddly, because I have my own hens. Hi. Do we have any egglets today? Let's see. So this is an emotionally charged issue for me. And it doesn't make necessarily a lot of logical sense. So I've been put in positions where I've had to explain to people what's going on and understand them, understand it, understand them, understandably, understandably. I don't know how to say that word. Understandably. <laughs> I can't say it well understood why <laughs> by me that these people would have questions about why I'm not eating red meat, but I'm eating other animals and so, so forth. And I've even had people like question me about even eating plants. So I thought that I would give you a few scenarios of um, 
sort of interactions that I've been in with friends and acquaintances regarding this move that I've made. Any feedback, comments on your part would be appreciated. Oh, uh, did you watch my video, which explains the whole thing about fishing and how I kind of started feeling differently after that? Well, it was a really good video. I don't know why I could eat fish. Do you have any other questions? Yeah, I don't understand why I can eat small animals, but can't eat large animals. <sighs> the phone just fell. <laughs> I know that they all have feelings. I know that I have chickens and it's weird that I could eat a chicken and not a cow. I, I have actually known cows personally in my life. How personally? Well, you know, it's a cow. Do you have any more questions? Oh, yeah, it was a little unexpected, but I'm not really sure why catching those fish had such a big impact on me. Now I'm having a hard time eating big mammals. Yeah, I know that little mammals also have the same rights and feelings as big mammals, but Bammels, <laughs> bammels, mammals. But I, I, I'm okay eating chicken and fish. I can't defend it any more than that. I know there's been books on plants have feelings too. Did you just ask me another question? Did you? Yeah, I know that milk comes from mammals. I mean, I am a mammal. I'm okay with drinking milk and eating eggs. No, bananas don't scare me. I, I can bite them, chew them and swallow them and I'm okay. Were you going to ask me something else? Were you? Excuse me? Yeah, I was going to eat this apple. Right, I'm not eating red meat. No, I'm not worried about plants having feelings. What? What? My husband made me a very nice sandwich today. And it's really nice that he makes me sandwiches. He totally supports this whole um, not eating red meat thing, even though he uh, continues to eat red meat. And um, I do feel a little bit sad that that isn't something that we share right now anymore. I'm not judging anybody that's eating meat. This is just me, like my head, my heart, what's going on. So I thought that I would show you one of the sandwiches that he's been making for me. And it's going to be the kind that you can eat without eating mammals or red meat. Not that you care, you're a carnivore. Mmm, pretty darn good, pretty darn good. Oh, I almost forgot I was going to show you my new coffee. Say, 
and they have, they're from Brooklyn. You can order this online. They have different kinds, but they have um, a new packaging concept. So this describes the coffee that you're getting in much more detail than what you would get on the bag. But I'm gonna go make a cup now. Mm-mm. Bye. Uh